What's going on people? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to make a real quick video talking about frame rate. Uh, to me, frame rate's a very important thing. A lot more important than resolution for sure. Because uh, I think your your controller to screen activity needs to be synced. You know, if you move your finger, that whatever's on the screen needs to be moving at that exact same time for a more real-time experience. So to me, frame rate is always superseded resolution. And you you guys know what it is. With the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, we got resolution gate. Which game performs better? Which one looks better? Which one runs better? And it's a lot of fanboy shit going on, you know? And, and to be honest, a lot of YouTubers really piss me off. I mean, I'm subscribed to a lot of a lot of YouTubers. And uh, sometimes I watch the videos of these guys and girls. And all I hear is fanboy. It's all I hear, you know? You're, you're repping your system. It's nothing wrong with repping your system. I think it's it's cool to like what you like, but you gotta have a realistic view. You gotta be realistic. Your console is not gonna be the only console with good games. Your console is not gonna be the only console that has a good frame rate. Your console is not gonna be the only one that has good resolution. Your console is gonna is gonna pick its shots. Some games are gonna work better on your console. Some games are gonna work better on the, on the other console. And there are YouTubers out there like the Red Dragon, yeah, I said his name, who likes to bash PlayStation. You know, he's a big Xbox. And that's what they call Xbox fanboys, you know. And I know about this because I used to be a Sony pony. That's what they called me. You know, I, I looked like my little pony for a, for a while because I was I was connected to a little too much to the PlayStation side of things because I started to associate my gaming identity with PlayStation rather than associate it with gaming you know and uh, I own all the consoles I got the Wii U, the Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS... I got them all right but I've always associated myself more with PlayStation and that kind of it blinded me to the fact that I was a gamer I was a gamer first not a PlayStation gamer you know I was playing about fucking Nintendo Super Nintendo, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, 32X I was playing all that first and PlayStation came much later and so when you get assimilated into a collective, you start to see that. And that's really all you can see. And for the first year of the Xbox One, yeah, I dogged them. I dogged Xbox. And I dogged them because of the, the way that they came at me initially. Didn't like it. And it, it put a real bad taste in my mouth. And I did not want to see the fact that they had good games. I did not care that they had good games. And in my mind, they didn't have good games because I was blinded by rage. I was blinded by being a fucking fanboy. And, and there are people out there who are fanboys, and they'll only see their side of things, and it really pisses me off. You know, like I said, I'm subscribed to a lot of you guys. I'm subscribed to some big YouTubers. Red Dragon's one of them. Red Dragon only sees Xbox as the messiah of gaming, and it can't go wrong. And anytime Sony makes a mistake, he's got 20 videos on it. But as soon as Xbox makes a, an issue, you won't hear shit about it. And that really, really pisses me off. Because uh, <laughs> Xbox isn't perfect. Sony isn't perfect. And right now, there's an article on GameSpot.com talking about Digital Foundry's latest uh, independent test of Dark Souls 2, the remake for PS4 and the Xbox One, has found that the PlayStation 4 version has a much better frame rate. It's, uh, it's active at around 50 to 60, and it's regularly achieving 50 to 60 frames per second, while the Xbox One version... It's only 40 to 50 frames per second. Now, the only reason I'm making this video, I'm not making it to be a fan. You know, it is what it is. It's just news. I'm making it because Xbox fans aren't going to say it. Xbox fans aren't going to eat it. They, they, they can't accept it. You know, when I was a PlayStation fan, I would have been pissed off to read what I read a few days ago. Maybe a couple weeks ago. I read uh, that uh, Resident Evil Revelations frame rate sucked on PS4 compared to Xbox One. It sucked. And, and as a PlayStation fan, that's got to hurt. But the truth of the matter is this. It's just a fucking game. And it got patched. No big deal. PlayStation's not going to win them all. Xbox is not going to win them all. All you people out there who feel like you're emotionally attached to a console, let that shit go. Throw the fuck up. You know, Microsoft is not the god of gaming. Neither is PlayStation and neither is Nintendo. They all try to make it. They're all vying for our attention. We got to be gamers first. Let the fanboy shit go. I'm sorry I know it's a little bit different from what I normally do, but it kind of pissed me off to see this article then go on YouTube and see all the fans not talking about it because it doesn't suit their agenda. Leave that agenda shit at the door and let's be gamers. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.